Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a guide on how to do your herb runs, your birdhouse runs and also your seed weed runs as well. Right, so let's quickly go through the patches that we're going to involve in this video when it comes to the herb run. So we've got the Hasidious patch which requires 50% favour in the Hasidious house. We've got the Ecto one as well that's just in Mauritania that uh, just drops you just by where the Ectofunctus drops you. Uh, and for that we require Ghosts Ahoy. Uh, we've also got the Falador one which is just outside the castle uh, with this we can use the explorer's ring which you get from the lumbridge and drain or diary or you can also use a ring of glory or the falador teleport and you've got a little bit of a run uh, we've then got the camelot patch as well which we're going to be using the camelot teleport for um, we've then got the rd patch which we can either use the fairy ring blr or the rd medium cape uh, as well uh, and then we get onto the farming guild where we're going to use the cir uh, fairy ring um, or we can use the skills necklace as well. Uh, with that one, it requires 65 farming to access that part of the farming guild. Uh, we're then going to get onto bird houses, which requires the Bone Voyage quest completed. Uh, and we're also going to be using a dig site pendant as well, so you'll need to unlock one of those. Uh, I've got that mounted in my house, but you can use the actual pendant itself. Um, the ones we're not going to include patch-wise is the Troll one, which requires My Arms Big Adventure, uh, Harmony Island, which requires the uh, Mauritania Elite Diary, and also the Vase one as well. Um, we're also going to include, like I said, the seaweed runs as well, uh, which requires, um, well, if you want to do the non-taking damage method, which is the diving apparatus, that requires completing the free and private peep section of re uh, Recipe for Disaster. Uh, but you can go down there without the diving apparatus, just bring some food, uh, because you will start to drown, which uh, isn't really that fun, is it? So let's get on to the inventory. I have a house teleport, because I'm going to be using my house for the... Um, Dig site pendant, like I said, uh, also for the uh, Camelot teleport as well, I could use um, my house too. And then also I've moved my house to Hasidia, so whenever I start my runs, I teleport to my house, come out the portal and then run. So I come out of here and then run to the patch just here. But you can use the Xerix talisman as well and use Xerix glade, uh, that teleport to get to the first one that we're going to start with. So... Like I said, that's why I've got those runes there. The Ectophile will be used for the uh, Ectofunctus teleport for the Mauritania patch. I've then got my Ardy Cloak 2, which has the farm teleport on it that we're going to be using. Uh, we've then got, uh, I've got a bottomless compost bucket, um, but you can use whatever highest tier bucket of compost that you have i'd advise i'd advise super comp super compost or ultra, ultra, ultra compost yep it is ultra compost i know i shouldn't doubt myself should i uh, which is where you use the volcanic ash on a super compost uh, when it's in the uh, compost bucket um we've then got our, our spade for harvesting the uh herbs we've then got a seed dibber for planting our seeds uh, we're going to be doing six patches so i've got six seeds uh I, no I normally would do sort of one snapdragon that i'd put in my protected um hasidious patch because you have the uh, protection from disease there but um for this run i'm, I'm just going to be using my five snapdragons and then my current farming contract which we need to do in the farming guild is a uh, lantadine seed so really it's six seeds of whatever herbs you need to plant um i've then got my uh, magic secateurs which means you get a higher yield when you um equip them when you actually pick your herbs and that's from the uh fairy tale part i think it's part one Either way, you're going to need to do Fairy Tale Part 2 as well for the uh, for the Fairy Ring Unlock. Um, we've then also got my Hammerstone Seeds, which is what I'm going to be using in my birdhouses. Uh, whatever your highest tier birdhouse is, um, if you don't have your birdhouses pre-made, um, when you pick up a birdhouse, you get your clockwork back, which you've used to make it, which is one steel bar on a um, workbench in your house. Um, and then whatever the highest tier log uh, you require. So if I had these already placed down um in uh what's it called fossil island uh, i would have my four magic logs and then i'd have my hammer and chisel to actually make my bird houses i've then got my seaweed seeds as well for when we get to uh the uh the underwater portion where we're going to plant our seaweeds so a quick whistle stop tour on some of the things that i might not have covered for requirements for the rd cloak that is the medium rd diary um which is what unlocks the teleport with the farming teleport um Obviously, Draymond Staff and Fairy Rings, you're going to need to have done Fairy Tale, or well, started Fairy Tale Part 2 and get to the portion of it where you do unlock Fairy Rings. Um, and I think that's everything in there that does require some sort of quest or 
and I guess the Explorer's Ring as well is the, uh, like I said, the Lumbridge and Drain or Easy, or that hard, a medium, sorry. Um, you do get the, no, you don't get the Teleport on the Easy one. It's only medium and above. So, uh, yeah, that's some other things that I might, I don't think I actually <laughs> actually covered. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's get on to actually getting around and uh, doing this farm run. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be planting my seeds, uh, but I'll be showing you where you would actually plant them, just to save a bit of time, because... Uh, the animation's really long, <laughs> especially I need to pick as well. Right, so getting into the actual journey around Gillanor to plant our seeds. Um, so we're starting off, like I said, I'm starting off with my house portal and then running north. Or you can use the Xerox Glade teleport just here and then run over to the patch. Um, if you did want to bring, say, your, uh, say you need to grow secondaries as well, like snake grass, you could plant these in the, uh, in the allotment patches as well. Just FYI, I do have the auto weeder, so I don't have to worry about weeding, um, but that's for another video to talk about that. Uh, it's not a necessity, so I would plant my seed. If I had seeds here, I'd have my magic secateurs on and I'd pick my herbs. So, for example, if you double click, you'll actually pick them quicker, um, just for one thing, if you are new to doing farming, uh, let me quickly... This is the only one I'm going to do it on, FYI. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to clean those real quick. Look at that Herb Lord XP going. Brr. Uh, if you select one, click on the tall leprechaun. He'll actually note them for you, which is really nice. And then use your seed on the actual patch. And then use your compost on the patch as well. Uh, so now that's a happy, a happy spot. That's a happy herb right there. Uh, okay, so next up, we are going to go to Camelot, which is uh, normally the next one that I do. Uh, so we're going to teleport to Camelot. Like I said, you can use a house teleport as well, uh, and then use the portal in your house if you do have it. So we're going to run just east. I know people shout at me when I move my map around. They're like, oh, it's not true north anymore. Wee -hoo. All right, so we're going to run east. And then we can see we've got our patch just coming up here. So we have another another uh, uh, herb spot here. We'd use our seed on it. Obviously, pick your, your uh, herbs if you do have them in there. Uh, next up, we're going to be going to the Ectofunctus. So we're going to use our Ectofile. And this is going to drop us just here on the map. And we're going to run a little bit north. And then we're going to run west to the patch. And we can see over here. So we do a little run. Do a little run, do a little run. You can bring stamina pots as well if you really want to. Uh, but that's the reason why we've got our graceful one, just to reduce down um, our energy depletion. If you weren't bringing your sea doing the seaweed runs, you would uh, leave off the apparatus and wear, you know, maximum uh, uh, maximum graceful. But here we go. We've got another patch here. We do sort of pick your herbs and then drop another seed on. Uh, and now we're going to go to Falador. So with this one, you can either use your Falador teleport and where are we falador come come here come here so you could use a falador teleport and run all the way down here run and then up or you can run sort of around this way and then go to the patch or you could use a glory run all the way around here go through here uh but if you've got the explorer's ring you can do the cabbage teleport Ooh, look at that i've become a cabbage Wahey. hey uh, and then you'd run a little bit north and you've got another patch over here it's also nice if you are planting melons, for example, which you can use to make super compost. Uh, you can plant a load of melons, stick them in the old uh, composter here, and then when it's done, drop your volcanic ash on it and then take it out and you get the ultra compost. That's another thing that you can do when you're doing these runs. So obviously, pick your herbs, drop your seed. There you go. Happy days. And now we're going to use the RD cloak and use the farm teleport. Uh, with this one, we do have an optional teleport when it drops us over. There we go. You can see it's tried to... <laughs> send us over uh, you do have the fairy ring here which is blr that you can use and just run west and then north uh, or you could use the rd teleport as well same story but uh, go a little bit east north and then you're there um, but obviously it drops you here again you could do your mel your watermelons for your super compost pick your herbs plant your seed jobs are good and and now we're going to go to the farming guild. So you're going to equip your lunar staff. I'm using my monastery teleport, which teleports me closest to a fairy ring. Uh, you could use something like a quest cape, or is it a, um, a champion's cape? The uh, hero's cape? There's another one. There's another cape. All right, there's another one. I can't remember what it is, but it drops you near a fairy ring. But I like this one. Or if you've got a fairy ring in your house as well, you could use that. So we're going to configure, and we're going to go to CIR which I think I already had on my quick one, but I'll just show you. So you can actually type on this as well, which is rather nice. Um, or not. 
Oh, it's because I got it favorited. So it's the Kebos Lowlands south of Mount Karulium. Karulum? Karulum? Whatever it is. Uh, so we're going to drop here. I'm going to come a bit south, or I guess southwest. I'm going to run on down, and we're going to run to the Farming Guild, which is just here. But you could use your Skills Necklace here as well, which uh, is, an, is another option. So we're going to run on down. And this is a good time as well that you can actually bank as well. So if you didn't want to bring your birdhouses, you didn't want to bring your hammer and chisel, or your seaweed seeds, this is a good place that you can actually bank um, if you do have it unlocked. It's a nice one to leave at the end. That's why I quite like starting with the Hasidious one, because uh, I can. there's a tall leprechaun right next to the patch, so I can grab all my stuff, uh, because normally I have my spades, my seed dibbers, my secateurs, and my compost bucket with the tall leprechaun. Um, so I'm going to use my lantern dime seed on this one, because it's for my farming contract, as you can see here. So I plant that in, put the... Uh, compost on it. Uh, another thing you could plant is that Atus, if you've got that unlocked, uh, which does give you higher yield, I think it is. Is it higher yield? There's one that does higher yield, there's one that does less disease. Look into them, they're decent ones to plant if you've got the level, uh, or if you've got them from Hespori. Um, and this is another good point as well, if you did want to put in Hespori into your runs, you could then quickly kill Hespori, and then get back to it. So now, we're going to go to um, our birdhouses. So I am... Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. I'm going to teleport home, and this is where you would use your dig site pendant and go to Fossil Island. Uh, so we're going to use our dig site pendant. I'm going to go to Fossil Island. There we go. Teleport down, uh, and then it teleports you to the house on the hill, I think it's called. And then you use the magic mushroom or mush tree. Uh, we're going to go to Verdant Valley first, okay? Because, I oh see, I've already got birdhouses here, which is a bit awkward. Uh, so we're going to put that on there. There we go. Do these. Du, 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 du. See, look, you get your clockworks back as well. Um, so if you did have your logs, you'd then use the hammer on the log, and it would make your birdhouse. Uh, and then we're going to go to Mushroom Meadow. Okay. But we're going to run down to the... We've got the birdhouse here, but we're going to run down to this bottom one first because we need to come back up this way, and you'll see why in a couple of... in about a minute. Uh, so we'll run down. Another option is you could bring fletching supplies as well if you really want to be efficient, but I can't be arsed with all that stuff. So we use our... Uh, there we go. Drop that on there. I haven't put... I haven't put seeds in them. <laughs> Uh, right, so you'd use your seeds on the on the birdhouses. My bad. Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hold on, let me quickly go back and I'll show you what I mean. I'm trying to do this quick, uh, so you get an idea of how you can get them, you know, going well. Um, okay, so quickly go back to the mushroom tree. Quickly go back to Verdant Valley. Use your seeds. Yeah, use your seeds. I'm out of run now. I'm out of puff. And this is where your stamina pots could come in handy. Okay. So teleport back. Mushroom meadow. And then you've got this one up here. Another thing is with the explorer's ring, actually, it gives you energy replenishment. So you can use that if you're using the same ring as me. Um, so then we're going to use our birdhouse on there. Use the seeds on it. There we go. And then we're going to run east. Okay. So we're going to run east. Uh, you might get tagged by one of the uh, rock crabs or the anamite crabs, but don't worry, they don't hit at all because they're uh, pretty weasley. So we're going to travel on the rowboat, and this is where we're going to go and do our seaweed. So travel on rowboat. We're going to row out to sea, which is the third option. So if you want to click the three key on your keyboard, that's a, that's a good move as well. So we do have a bank here as well, so this is another good time for us to bank. Uh, I'm going to quickly put my pin in, and uh, I'll be back in a sec. So like I was saying, this is a good time to bank. Uh, so you can bank your hammerstone seeds, your hammer and chisel. Um, you wouldn't have any of those left, but <laughs> I do. Uh, you can bank all your teleports, uh, your bird's nest as well that you've got from doing your your birdhouses. Um, just to quickly to show you with the... Uh, one, three, four. With the birdhouses, if you... Oh, put my hammer and chisel away now. Uh, hammer, chisel... If you do that on that, it'll make your birdhouses, and you get 50 craft and XP for a magic one. 
There you go, look at that, lovely jubbly. Okay, so don't worry about the fact that you've still got your farming supplies on you, because you are going to still need them. Uh, because we're then going to right click on the rowboat and hit dive. Um, that's because we have something in our hands. Uh, if you didn't have an apparatus, you don't want to be heavy, so you don't want to be wielding anything. Um, otherwise you'd normally just swim about. Um, so if you're, uh, there's an urban myth that if you're having magic secateurs on when you when you harvest seaweed, you get more. But I think it's I think it's a load of bollocks, really. But anyway, so we're going to pick our seaweed. They normally give quite a lot of yield, but you've got two spots here. I'm only going to do one just to show you uh, how it goes. I think it uses three a time. I think it's three. It's two or three seeds at a time. But you do get random spawners down here, so you might want to turn on uh, alerts for seaweed spores if you are running low. Um, I know I have. And also, seaweed is the uh, highest chance of being able to get the tangle. Is it tangle root? The uh, farming pet. So uh, that's another thing as well. A good reason to do your seaweeds. Um, and exactly like we did before with the uh, with the herbs. Uh, when our inventory is full, we can click on one and click on the tool leprechaun and it'll note them for us as well. So if you are a UIM, this is another good thing as well that you can uh, utilise. So use our seaweed. I only used one. I thought it used two. My bad. Anyway, then we use our, far our, our uh, compost on it and happy days. That is your farm. Your, your, your efficiency run completed. Just one thing to add um, when it comes to timings. So seaweeds is every 40 minutes. Uh, herbs are about 80 minutes, let's say an hour and a half, and uh, birdhouses are about an hour. Uh, I normally leave it every hour and a half, just so I know that everything's completed. Um, but you can, if you want to fit in some more, you can do more seaweeds within that. You could probably do two runs of seaweed um, in in a, in a, an inverted commas run. But um, it really depends on how much time you want to dedicate to it. I, like I said, you just wait an hour and a half and everything's done. You can do it all again in one seamless motion. But that really is on you, uh, on what your personal preference is. But my recommendation is leave it an hour and a half. You know everything's going to be finished then. And then you can go through and uh, do the whole process once more. But yeah, I hope you guys... Apologies for the little fuck up in the middle. And that's my bad. Uh, I haven't actually done birdhouses in a while because I'm inefficient. You know, I'm an inefficient iron man. Don't, don't tell anyone, all right? This is a secret between me and you. All right, we're in this together. Please don't tell anyone because I think I might get bullied. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you all have found this video useful. If you have, I'd appreciate you dropping a like and also a comment on the video down below because it helps with pushing this video out in the algorithm. And you are, if you are new around here, why not subscribe for more? I make a lot of guides like this. Look, there you go. There's two seaweed things just, just spawned over there. Um, uh, I do make a lot of uh, guides like this where it is sort of beginner's guides to the game uh, and also little tips and tricks. So if that is of interest, please subscribe for more. And uh, with that being said, love you and leave you. Stop rambling and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! <laughs>